Hey, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Catalyst Browse plugin in Adobe Premiere Pro. So usually if you are using a Sony camera that has a gyro sensor, then that camera records the gyro data on that video footage. So when you're using Catalyst Browse software from Sony, then you can stable the video footage using Catalyst Browse software. So here the Catalyst Browse software is if you want to stable a video footage that has recorded using a Sony camera, then you can just right click here and then you can click stable then it will stabilize the video if you decrease the number then it will stable more if i play it back then you'll see the before and the after here right so you can see that it has already done a good job right but now you can use the same thing in adobe premiere pro right because adobe has released a plugin for catalyst browse you have to download the plugin i will put a link in the description below you can just download the plugin and then you need to open adobe premiere pro so here if i want to use this video clip in adobe premiere pro i need to just click and drag it here in adobe premiere pro to import it and now if you double click it it will open in source monitor from source monitor you need to apply the plugin usually what we do we go to window then from here we take the access of any extension that we use and from the effects control panel you will see the catalyst browse plugin right so here if you click on stabilization and lens breathing then you can click analyze to analyze the clip and from there you can change the stabilization that you want if you increase it maybe this much or this much then you can adjust the stabilization that you want if i play it back then you'll see the video is looking pretty damn good right you can use that plugin inside adobe premiere pro that is a very very cool feature but there is a catch you cannot use it for free if you use it for free then you will have a banner just like that if you want to use that then you need to buy so you have to go to account management then you have to sign in and from there you need to buy the license if you want to use it without any watermark so that is the catch if you want to use catalyst browse in adobe premiere pro to stable your video you need to buy the plugin so that is all that is how you can use catalyst browse plugin in adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video or learned anything new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you new this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then Goodbye.